Stephen McKenzie is a fire and safety consultant. He joins us now. Stephen, there are so many questions regarding Grenfell, but let's talk about tonight because everything has changed, as we heard a councillor say, since Grenfell. We now have around 4,000 people being moved, evacuated from their houses in North London. Is that the right thing to do? I think that this is a question for the, the parliamentary inquiry and an expert panel now. This is beyond uh, individuals. This is a national uh, catastrophe. We have seen the Grenfell fire fatalities. We have seen knee-jerk responses. We've seen uh, uh, inaccurate information, technically incompetent information, to now seeing a mass evacuation. It should not happen. Lessons were there following the, the Camberwell, Lamacal, Cornico inquiry in 2013. And and the Garrett Court fire in 2000, where the, the, the inquiry to the House of Commons on the risk of external fire clan spread actually said, we do not believe that it should take a serious fire in which many people are killed before all reasonable steps are taken towards minimising the risk. Now we're evacuating tower blocks. Where is this going to end? You're saying that there were so many pointers and yet we still had the horrific tragedy at Grenfell. 79 people feared dead. That could still change. How did we get there? I don't know. The, the answers have been there. There have been repeated studies on it. There have been a, a early warning signals in a number of fires, not only in the UK but internationally. This is the most significant one. To quote to Danny, Conan, Danny Cotton, the fire commissioner, this is an unprecedented event. Traditionally, we think blocks are flat, relatively low, lit, low risk, and the fire should be contained within that individual compartment. But now we have local authorities actually evacuating whole tower blocks. What about the tower blocks that the residents have been left in situ? The government has identified additional buildings. Where are we going? We need to have proper PR coverage, proper feedbacks and proper civil contingencies and emergency planning responses now. When it comes to Grenfell, what, in your opinion, then was the cause of this? Was it the design? Was it the, were the regulations, the building regulations not strong enough? Where do you think was this weak spot in all of this? Well, I think, I think from the, the reports today about the, 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 the equipment failure within the fridge to the external fire spread, there's also concerns that I've been raising over the past, uh, the, the coverage of this case, about the internal fire spread. Why couldn't the occupants move from the exterior to the protected safe areas within the building and then either evacuate or be assisted out the building. There's been failures on a number of levels. We don't know the answers yet. Is it bringing into question our building standards legislation and recent works? I don't know. It will take an expert panel to look at this now. Stephen McKenzie, we're out of time, but thank you very much for talking us through some of those points. Stephen McKenzie, a fire and safety consultant. Thank, thank you. you. We have a special section dedicated to Grenfell Tower on our website, so do have a look at that.